Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. <coughs> We're taking yet another look at um, Star Trek New Horizons, uh, which is the total conversion mod for Stellaris, and let's jump right in. So, we... We're sending a rescue mission over here. We've attacked some of the aliens that were around here, some of the unfriendly aliens that were around there, and weren't letting us look at those systems. Um, so now we'll have we'll go explore those systems, kind of see what's there. We're almost finished with the Quomar um, observation post, which is there. And yeah, life is just going well for us at the moment. What was that? Ecclesian Galactic Co Elysian Galactic Combine. Okay. Why? There re are rebels. Why does it just suddenly pop up like that without really saying anything? So, ooh, it's all purple. Starbase reinforcement. The Grand Fleet. That sounds nice. Shipyard. So, anything I can do for money? I, uh, when I say money, I mean, of course, energy. Does that give me enough? No, not quite. Okay. That's fine. Eighth Fleet fully upgraded. So the question becomes... Oh, actually, how are you doing? You've taken over those. You've taken back Kazon. I'm wondering if I should make a structure. I'm wondering if I should. Your species so the thrives on emotion. It... Is it time? Considering the mirror universe actually turns out to not be much of anything at the moment, at least. I'm gonna do that. Oh, look, you can upgrade again. Battle stations, victory is ours. Upgrading and the sovereign will be finished at that point in time. Oh, negative in supplies now. Let's see. Villat. I could build. Two there. Let's do that. In Tau City Prime, let's go for one as well. Corcoroli. Two, three. Decala. One, two. Yeah, so that I think should be more than enough. Defend the freighter. 
and yay. So we can close that again. Ninth Fleet, you're now repairing at Akamar. What can I do with you? I think I'm going to have it run, go on a, like a kamikaze style run. Problem is I have both of these uh, transwarp conduits that I have to deal with. So maybe I will, once it's finished repairing, I will stage it in Hodgson. And then from there, yeah, I think that's what I will do. Stage it in Hodgson. And from there, have it then directly go to Trinic or... Yeah, if I have it go... Oh, sorry. Hodgson. It is a direct jump. That's good. Um, diversity is celebrated, of course. We don't want to force you in, although, yes, we would like to force you in. Fifth Fleet. Upgrade. Major Kira Norris and Reginald Barkley. Good, good. Ninth Fleet. Let's build another city and upgrade you. Nope, 13th fleet can be upgraded again. So 10th fleet, where are you? 9th, 8th, 5th, 13th, 6th, 3rd... Oh, it's one of the ones not showing up. Of course, of course. Steam Runner class. Light Cruiser, okay. Third fleet is now fully upgraded as well. That's good. You're almost finished. You're almost finished. Also very good. Uh, which is the one in Akamar? You're full at full strength. Third fleet is at full strength. Sixth fleet cannot be reinforced. You could though. Villard. Yeah, okay, now we're back up to right number of supplies. Thirteenth fleet. Let's reinforce that one, so that's a galaxy class. Then I can go for you, which I guess is another galaxy no, it's an Akira class. And one for you, which is a defiant class. Okay. Fifth fleet can be upgraded again. So please do so. And you're now there. An interesting development. They've unlocked steam power. So they're now at the steam age. Great. So I'm thinking to kind of spruce things up a bit, we should probably... Yeah, probably 
declare war on somebody soon. And by somebody, of course, I do mean the Borg. Not just any random person. You have a thousand there. Let's wait first for Quomar for, to be fully uh, integrated into the Federation. Oh, maybe we should also wait for the Sunal Command. Probably. So what I'm going to do now, sell that, buy those. And reinforce a ship somewhere. So it's... So how are my starbases coming along? You look like you're all finished. Oh, no you're not. That one specifically was not. What about the shipyards? These two are not. Okay. That one is. This one needs to upgrade. How did I miss those? Anyway. Six. Okay, good. So, new research. Oh, look, I can upgrade everything again. Yay! Armor piercing quantum torpedo 2, Prometheus class. Akira Heavy Long Striker and the Vesta class. Ooh, that sounds very nice. Let's go for that. Even though it will definitely put something, uh, yeah, out of commission. But the Akira class Heavy Long Range Striker sounds good. And the Vesta class. I'm not familiar with the Vesta class. The, both the Akira and the Prometheus were in, um, well, Star Trek Voyager. The, Prom the Prometheus was definitely in Star Trek Voyager, um, as was the Akira in that same episode. Um, I don't know if they showed up many other places. I think Deep Space Nine, de or definitely on Deep Space Nine, the Akira showed up. But first let me pay attention and upgrade everything. And 10th Fleet. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to sell some stuff. Let's go for... Fleet Manager, what's the thing I need? I need Magnesite and Chemosite, so those two are the lower ones. The ones that I can have less of. Let's sell, sell food, gain alloys, oh, we can start a survey, great, we can feed some trivels, containment breach, and new tradition, two there, three there, five, well if we go this one, Terraforming cost reduction, that's slightly nice. Habitability plus 5%. Survey speed, and then leader level caps. Doesn't really matter in the end. Let's go here. We should probably figure out our Brizy Nitrate issue. And all we need to do for that is, for example, on something like a breadbasket colony, something of the sort. 
Actually, I don't think it really matters. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Oh, we're lacking food. 350... Oh, we just need the food. Okay. Priority one message. Association request. Sure. You're still at war, though. Okay. We have given them association status, which means, ironically, they're also now associated with each other. Kind of. So, one, two, oh, just the one. I'll do another one there in a second. Well, and of course, when I say in a second, I do mean at the end of the month when, you know, I actually have food. Like now? That produces three, so now I have six. What am I losing? Thirty-three. Okay. Maybe I'll need to do a bit more. If I look here, where has... Which of the systems that I could potentially take over have Bryzine Nitrate? This one, nope. Hmm, don't know. Fortunately, it's still a little ways off. Rib-lower system is fully surveyed. Okay. And you're going over there anyway. So not command a session process. Ah, oh, not yet. So maybe soon. How are we doing here? The Borg. Yeah. Oh, Benea. The Borg will come again. Their fleet power is now inferior. That's a good sign. Fleet Speaking of fleets upgrading. Oh, and we now have a new Federation member. Welcome. Welcome to the family. So upgrades, nothing we can do at the moment, okay. Good, I guess. Fleet Tenth Fleet has been fully upgraded. Good to know. Actually, I guess maybe now is a good time to start a war with the Borg. So, before I do that, there are no... What is this? Galactic Forum. There's a transwarp conduit there, and a transwarp conduit there. So both of those need to be taken out quickly. There's one there. There are none up here. There's one there, there's one there, there's two there, and one there. 
So, how many is that in total? One, two, three. Um, what is that? Ruin Think Tank. Okay, that'd be interesting to take over. Four, five. There's the one down here, six. Oh, and a fleet of 24,000. Uh, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I do have eleven fleets, fortunately. Thirteenth fleet. You can be upgraded again. So, what can I do? Let's sell that. One month, two months. Ah, oh, great. So this will be... They'll all need to upgrade again. Yay. So I guess I need to move these more into positions. So I have one fleet there. Well, I'm gonna probably not gonna declare war on the Borg this episode. So you need to upgrade. You need to upgrade. You upgrade. You upgrade, you upgrade, second fleet, oh, second fleet upgrade, and first fleet upgrade. Then we can't construct anything. So, isolitic subspace weapons or subspace tractor beam. Research station, Andorian phaser. Let's go for the compression wave phaser, it'll just go quickly. Convalescence. Commercial Nexus and Trade, Ground Defenses, Building and District Cost minus 5, might as well. Six Fleet, you're both fine. That's... Not a straight shot. Okay, good to know. No. The irony is, this fleet is out of date, and yet it is the strongest fleet, probably because it's fully, uh, fully, uh, not fully stocked, what is the word I'm looking for? Fully, mm, I don't know, I'm tired. It's a little bit late here at night as I'm recording these, so I'll give myself leeway just this once. It's fully manned, it's fully staffed, it's fully formed. 
No, not quite. Oh, my fleet power is equivalent with the Herc. That's good to know. Do not question the dark. As is true of the Volf. But the First Federation are still overwhelming. The Metron are also overwhelming. Clock witch! some alloys and the alloys are all gone now Let's get rid of some minerals too much too many energy credits needed for the alloys at the moment but that's okay. Battle stations. Oh, and we've lost that ship. Would be much worse if we were actually really exploring everything. Ah, so now we have another bit of a problem. The nebula classes are no longer updating. Do I take them out or do I let them get destroyed during the upcoming war with the Borg? Let's uh, probably let them get destroyed. I don't think I have that many nebulas. When I'm saying nebulas, I mean the nebula, um, the nebula class. So I think, yep, you have one. You have one. Um, you have two. None. None. Okay, so I think I have five in total. Which isn't really worth making a new fleet. It wouldn't be able to survive anyway. Not that I really want it to survive, but you know what I mean. So, farming subsidies. Let's go for research grants as well. Well, what I could do is just remove the individual ships. That's a challenger. Where were they? Here we go, nebulous. So what I could say is you go follow where's the fleet here it is follow that but two of you merge with the other first Nice looking ship. So, what I need to do is replace those ships. So, going up here, remove the nebula, remove the nebula, and where was it? 13th Fleet, remove those two nebulas. Um, can't add the galaxy, Excelsior, I guess the Akira class, it's in this for the second fleet, I can't add those, I could add an Excelsior but I think it's the next thing to go, let me do an Akira, 
and then third fleet is the last one let's go for Gallic oh sorry there's not enough Excelsior Akira yeah it has to be an Akira I guess and 13th fleet you can upgrade Yeah, this is not so good. Cube, diamond, four spheres, and two pyramids. Right there, just sitting there. Maybe what I'll do actually is say the Hodgson, let's move you to Fusco. And that way at least these two fleets will be here. Yeah, I can then warp them in very easily. Theoretically, to here. Again, theoretically. Okay. So I'm going to put another cut in here because we've reached the half an hour mark. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please like and subscribe. Also comment down below. I'm very happy to hear what you have to say. Um, and suggestions are always welcome. And I hope you see you next time for the 50th episode. So see you then. Bye. Hello everyone. Thanks once again for watching this episode of Star Trek New Horizons Into the Mirror Darkly. If you enjoyed watching and you liked what you saw, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll try and bring out videos whenever possible, and yeah, I hope to see you again in the future. So take care and ta-ta for now.